Tonight, once again, abortion could come to another vote at the state capitol, all because of today's court ruling overturning Georgia's heartbeat abortion ban. It throws the issue back to legislators to reconsider a ban. The court ruling will be under appeal for a final ruling. John Shearick explains what could happen in the meantime. State lawmakers already counting the votes for and against a possible new six-week abortion ban, just in case the state Supreme Court down the street decides to overturn the current ban, as a lower court just did. And it's not clear if there would even be enough votes here this time around to pass the heartbeat abortion ban again. I think that in some ways it is a whole new ball game. Democrat State Senator Elena Parent of DeKalb County points out that in 2019, Georgia's heartbeat abortion bill passed the House by only two votes. And Senator Parent says in 2023, the legislature will have even more pro-choice members. It's even more of an uphill battle to put such a draconian law into place now than it was in 2019. But the author of Georgia's heartbeat abortion ban, Republican Representative Ed Setzler of Cobb County, does not even plan to bring a new version of the bill up for a vote. Setzler is confident the Georgia Supreme Court will uphold the current law. So there's no, no need to redo something we've done well, something we've done thoughtfully with balance the first time. It will go into full effect here relatively quickly. There is more. Senator Parent says Democrats in the legislature next year will try to codify Roe v. Wade in state law. But even if that had a chance of passing... It can be blockaded by the Republican leadership. Parent says Democrats will still try. Setzler's focus is on keeping his Life Act in place in the courts, never mind the latest lower court ruling against it. I think this will be a relatively short delay. As it is, both the U.S. Supreme Court and a state superior court here in Atlanta have said again, that the ultimate life and death decisions on abortion laws rest with the legislature. At the state capitol, John Shearick, 11 Alive News. Meanwhile, those on both sides of the debate are sounding off. Those in favor of the heartbeat law say the ruling doesn't make sense, while Planned Parenthood advocates say this ruling happened at the right time. So we really reject that argument uh, because the Dobbs ruling, uh, you know, exists to say states can do exactly this, which is pass life-saving laws state by state. It's, it's a big deal. This is a really big move for the state of Georgia, and we're proud to be standing in partnership with other organizations to ensure that access to abortion is uh, expanded and provided to the people of Georgia. You can catch up on our continuing coverage and any updates in this legal battle on our website, 11alive.com.